I teach him colour first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Robert. I give it here! Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll shoot you, ragged. I'll cut you down! Slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Here's a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! Once wrote of an eagle soaring high above a shepherd's field, but swooped down on powerful wings to seize a grazing lamb and carry it off to her nest. Flying close by, a jackdaw saw the deed, and it filled his head with the idea that he too was just as strong and capable. So, with a great flapping and rustling of feathers, the jackdaw came down swiftly and clutched at the coat of a large ram. But when he tried to fly away, he found he could not lift the animal, for his size and strength were not up to the task. And even as the jackdaw struggled, the ram hardly noticed he was there. Nearby, just across the field, the shepherd saw the fluttering bird and was quite amused. Running up, he captured the jackdaw and clipped its wings. That evening, he gave the jackdaw to his children as a gift. What an odd little bird this is, father, they laughed and shouted. What do you call him? This is a jackdaw, the father said. But if you should ask him, he would claim to be an eagle. Is that the most intelligent thing you have to say to each other? I've had to produce what little we had left. They've got the gall to expect us. Free 
enterprise that Not haven't you said boy, they... anything better the to golden. them than pull the hair off each other's chest? The last month. No more than two years! You promised me! You left! Well, I needed you the most! But you had me! What keeps you wondering? Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline. Please, just let me do this. Everything you do, I'll spy, Edward. It's not spite that's driving me, Mary. It's courage. Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care. God damn you all. I can handle this. You lout. Always tearing down when you could be building things up. Or building yourself up, if nothing else. Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a bowler plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for Ted. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I should have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then 